Hi, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a USB flash drive. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download two things. You're going to download the Ubuntu, right now I have 11.10 or whatever the latest version is, and you're going to download the 32-bit version of it. Now it's just in a disk image in ISO and it's about 700 megabytes. So it may take a while on your internet connection for it to download. And the next thing is you're going to need to download Universal USB Installer. You can get this from pendrivelinux.com and I'll provide both of these in the show notes so you can download them. So once you downloaded them, you're going to insert your USB flash drive. And you're going to go into your computer in Windows Explorer and you're going to find that USB flash drive and you're going to right click it and format. You're going to need to format this in FAT32 and make sure the allocation unit size is default and just checkbox the quick format and you can leave the volume label blank. And then before you click start this will erase all data on that drive so make sure you select the right drive and I am not responsible for your data loss. If you need any of those files on that drive, make sure you go back them up, then click Start. And OK. And it will format the drive quickly. And the format is complete. So now that it's formatted in FAT32 file system, we're going to go back to the Downloads folder or wherever you've placed these files and we're going to run the universal USB installer. Click yes on the user account control pop-up if you have Windows Vista and 7 and we're going to agree to the terms and license and we're going to select the distribution of uh, your operating system or whatever it is distribution of Linux so mine is going to be Ubuntu 11.10 desktop and down here you're going to browse and find that ISO file and right here it is. So we're going to open it and you're going to select your drive letter. So go back in Windows Explorer and go to computer and make sure you find the USB flash drive and find the drive letter. That's very important. Once you find the drive letter you can go down here you can put a persistent file size if you want to store changes or updates this is optional, but I recommend this. Put maybe, I don't know, 300 megabytes. It depends on what you want. You can put as much as you want, but after that, click Create. And it will uh, perform the following actions. The uh, existing master boot record will be overwritten. It will install Ubuntu. And are you positive this is the device you want to install Ubuntu on? And if you are absolutely sure, click Yes. If you're not, click No so click yes and it will start extracting the ISO and putting the file system and files on the USB flash drive so I'm gonna pause this video and I'll be right back because this may take a while depending on the speed of your computer hi I'm back and pendrive Linux just finished it extracted all the files from the ISO and put them on the USB flash drive and it created the persistent files so any changes will be saved and it just finished like I said and click close and that's about it oh, it's finished all you have to do now is to boot from it is it's kinda of tricky different computers have different settings you're going to need to plug this in and shut down your computer and boot it up and on different computers there are different key numbers like F1 key, it could be the F12 key, it could be the F9 or the escape key you would hit just as you turned on the computer just before on or on the BIOS splash screen so you can get to the BIOS settings and set the USB flash drive as the top order. You want that thing first to boot up from and just save the BIOS settings and exit and you should be able to boot from the USB drive automatically you just turn on your computer with the USB flash drive plugged in and it should boot up from the USB flash drive and that's how you install Ubuntu on a USB flash drive